Hey guys, I wanted to do part two. My Mod Podge is all dry. I want to do, uh, you know, like an aged look. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to take some regular wax. And I've got some dark wax. Only one little bit. I don't want a lot of the dark. I'm going to kind of mix them up. If you think it's darker than you want, mix a little more. I'm just mixing it in a silver tray I have sitting up here. All right, let's, let's that one's too big. I'm gonna try this one. See, it's a makeup brush. Okay, that's going to work. You can see I'm getting some black there. But not a lot. And that's what I wanted. I, I, I want an aged. But I don't want a huge... A darker black would really be too much, I think, for this piece. And I want to be able to put some gold on there. I got a hair. Get off of there. Never fails. There's always a hair that comes out of the brush. Is what it is, right? I have never, even the more expensive, Expensive brushes I have bought. I've never gotten one that didn't shed on me, even though some of them say they won't. Make sure I get into those little edges and I can use a smaller brush to do that. This is sealed. I don't need to put any wax on that part. I've already got it sealed with my Mod Podge. And another one. Let's get him off of there. end for that brush. I'm not using that one anymore. Nope. All right, we're just going to use this because that brush has just got a bunch of hairs coming off it. And I want to use this one. I want to get down to the edge and I want to get in yeah, my design, because that's where I really want that look, that aged look. That way, when I put my gold on, the two will be a nice contrast. Make sure we get in the middle there. I'm going to make sure that the wax goes right down. Make sure it gets in all my edges. I actually kind of feel like I want a little more black on those edges. So let's just mix a little more in here. So I'm going to put the gold on it to highlight it. I'd like to have the black like down in. So let's do that just a little bit more. So it goes in these flowers. Really makes them stand out some. 
There we go. Yeah, that's what I want. I want it to go in there. And you can do this with paint. Um, have I use baby wipes. I put the dark paint on. And then I would take the wipes and wipe it off the top. Uh, that's another way you can distress. I use that a lot doing furniture. It's a little more in there. That's better. See, I like how it's highlighting it much better. I want those edges highlighted. I went out and mowed. Went out and used the weed eater. Then I ran and got round up to try and kill all the weeds I had just chopped off, got my shower, went to sleep that fast. Laid down, thought, all right, time to relax for a little bit. It's not real hot, but, you know, you get hot and it wears you out when you forget that it's a self-propelled mower. It's the second time I have forgot all about that. Yeah, you hold that top one in. So I think I'm where I'm supposed to be, and I'm not. It's hard to push, and then it's like, oh, yeah. I have to hold that other one in. I get my grandsons, and I think it's a week they'll be done school. And the oldest of the two usually mows for me. So I don't do it very often. There we go. Yeah, that's a little more what I'm looking for. See, so yeah, it makes these edges stand out. And I'm going to let that sit in there a few minutes. And while it's sitting in there, we'll get this other one decorated. Not sure what I'm putting on it yet. I haven't really decided. That's kind of the fun of it, you know. Let's make sure. I got enough on here to really kind of Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. I'll show you a trick if you think you're getting too much. Dip back into that wax and you can blend it a little more while it's on here. And, you know, tone down if you think you've gotten too much. You can blend your paint with the wax. And you got to remember, I mean, you're going to rub this off. So some of this color is going to come off. Yeah, when you rub it off. All right. Now, let's let that guy sit down here. I'm going to make sure I, I got it good. Uh, where did I put my towel? Oh, this. Okay. In the meantime, while that's drying, I'm going to bring this over here. You know what? It's going to do with him. Let's put him right in the trash. I 
my bling box. It never stays open. I don't know why. So, let's see. What can we put on her? Mmm, now there's an idea. I have this old necklace I've been cutting apart. I used it on another piece the other day. That matches pretty good. What if I just take a piece of this, snip it here and here, and give her a belt? And get my snips. I go down to like Goodwill and I go to thrift shops. You know, and I grab this kind of stuff. I mean, as you can see, this one was already cut up. I've used it on other pieces. So I'm thinking we're going to put a little belt right there. That'll be kind of cute. And do we want to maybe add a floor to lay in there? So let's pull that piece out. Quick and easy. Yep. I'm going to put a floor to lay there. Let me grab my glue. It's right here. That's the E6000. That's what I use when I'm gluing stuff. I kind of like the idea of floor to lay there. We can put a couple little rhinestones on it. I just continually, you know, buy stuff. And when I see it, so I have it. It's always fun to add things. Stones. So let's get a couple of those out. And we'll figure out what we want to do with them. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to put my fleur de lis on there. I'm going to use the E6000. Kind of spread it down on there. Get a little bit in this guy. These are always a little harder. You end up with the glue on your fingers, but that's okay. There we go. Now she's got a little belt that matches her flowers. Now, I would like to maybe, nah, that's not gonna work. Oh, maybe up there. Um, let's see. Ruger, come here. Ruger, come. Yeah. Ruger. Come on, baby. Get out of the way. I don't mind. He's in there. It's just too much walking over him, you know? Ruger, come. Come on. Ruger. Where is he? Right here. In the bathroom. Yeah. Was he right at the door? What? Is he right at the door? Well, I had to walk over him. You have to walk over. Well, let me see. Sorry about that. Kind 
I wanted to do one more little thing. I wish I had something that kind of looked like the mirror she's holding here. Oh, wait a minute. That's an idea. What if I outline the mirror just a little bit with that piece? I like that idea. I don't need a whole lot on there. It's one enough so he sticks. Kind of dip that down in there. Oh, perfect. couple pieces. All things. I mean, I broke that up. This actually was a set I had bought. Um, I don't know if I want to put flowers on there. I don't want to overdo it. That's always the hard part. Yeah, I was trying to not overdo it. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I think we're going to leave it go with that. I think that's plenty, don't you? What do you think? That came out pretty cute. Okay, so I got to put him aside so he can dry. Now I'm going to put a tray back over here. I use old t shirts with the wax. I just pick them up at the local thrift shop. And wipe it down. Now it's kind of getting that aged look. Are they shooting stuff off again? No, I'm live. All right. You know what? Not sure why it didn't take real well there or there. So let's try putting a little bit more on. See, the flowers have a nice, you could just make them out a little more, you know. That's what I like about that. Now I have to get, move him. I gotta get him taped. I think I'm gonna do stripes on it. is the hard part of having a small crafting area. <laughs> I gotta put stuff up all over the place. And let's see what I have here that might go with a bee. Hmm. I think he's gonna be too big. He's too big for that. Hmm. Yeah. 
This is one of my bags. It's all necklaces. I've picked up some of them are like broken pieces bags. You can get those at the stores. But it gives you a lot of fun ideas. There's all kinds of fun pieces in there. Like if I had something and I wanted to just do a circle around it. I don't think I have any real long ones in here though. There's another fun one. So when you see these, grab them. Yeah, because you might find a good use for them. For something smaller, you could put that right around it. Make a fun design. Same with this one. You could put it around something. A smaller piece, obviously, but they're pieces that you could have fun with. And you get them for a good price. That's what I really like. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything long enough for this piece. I was hoping I'd find one. Yeah, my thought was to put the rhinestones around it. Hmm. All right, let's put this guy back. This is flowers and all kinds of stuff. And I am not seeing my rhinestones, which I thought were sitting in there. Not in there. Okay. I got one more spot to check. Sorry. I thought they were in that spot. <sighs> now I am really confused. I have to pause because I'm not finding them. I don't know what happened to them. I'm sorry. I could have swore they were sitting in one of these two boxes and they got up and walked away. We know what that's like, don't we? <laughs> You're positive you know where something is and then you can't find it. I don't know if they're going to be long enough. They might be. Because this is what I was thinking about putting on here. So let's see. Let's stretch it all the way out. Get it all turned over. I think we're good. Looks like it. These expand some. That's one of the things I like about them. A smaller piece, you can just put them all together. And then a piece like this, you pull them apart and expand them. Yes! I think we're good. I'm going to use my E6000. I'm going to start up here. And I'm just going to put a little bit on each one. 
I don't need much. And it's not like I need to hit every one. But I will try to hit every one. And that was not what I wanted to do. It was a thought. We're just going to have to go around doing a couple at a time. It's going to pull it up, but there's really not a whole lot I can do about that. I'm just got to hit some, push them in place, make sure they're expanded if you need it expanded before the glue dries. You do have a little bit of time, but you don't want to think about it two days later, you know? So remember to check stuff like that as you're going along. I have more of these on order, but I got a smaller size. These big ones, are great, but you have to be doing a big piece. I want to use them on some smaller pieces. Oh, getting hot. I didn't turn the air on. I didn't think it was that hot up here. Now that I'm up here working and I have the lights on, I do feel hot. Okay, let's keep going here. Because I want to make sure everything sticks and stays in place. a bit. Get it on some more. I'm just kind of going up. I'm not pushing a lot of glue out. Just enough, yeah, to get it on there so that it stays down. If you miss one or two, it's not going to matter. Uh, the rest of them will all be in place. So, I mean, don't worry about anything like that. As long as you've got the majority of them glued, you're good to go. And, of course, your ends, you want to make sure they're glued good. That, those are the pieces that have a chance of, you know, going loose. Now, see, I'm a little concerned this end, the last one, didn't have enough to keep it in place. The rhinestones. What do you think? Pretty cool. 
going to have to turn the air on. I'm sitting up here sweating. <laughs> mm, I was thinking about putting this on the bee. I'm not sure. It could be too much. It's actually a pin, but you can just break it off. I do that with earrings, pins I yeah, pick up at the thrift shop. Mmm, should we make her a queen bee? What do you think? I think we're going to make her a queen bee. I kind of like that on there. I'm going to go around the sides and the top. Those are the pieces that, you know, hit the piece. Wipe the glue off. Okay. Now the other thing I wanted to do, I want to do a rub and buff on here. Let me close my glue. That's right here. But I tell you guys, everything I use on a regular basis, I can't find tonight. Jeez. It means I used it and left it somewhere. Because I thought I had it in my container. I have silver, I have red. You know what? Let's do silver. That'll probably look a little better. We do have... Oh, my light went out. There we go. Everything in here is silver, so let's do silver on the end. I just used my fingers. like it might be a little dry. It's been a little bit since I used this one. Open it back up. There we go. You just go across your tray and you highlight you know, those flowers that we did. silver and the rhinestones are silver based. I think the silver will work better. I think it'll look nicer. This does take a little bit to dry. So remember when you do it, you have to yeah, you're going to let the wax dry anyway, or cure. But remember, if you go to pick this up, you're going to get the silver on you as well. Make sure we got down in all these pieces. to the ends. That's what I'm doing now. It's a little bit up top. Now we've got that dark wax. 
a little silver over it, I like that. Um, yeah. What do you think? I think I'm going to leave a go with that. I don't want to overdo. I'm going to leave room if somebody wants to use this to put something on. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my light. Why it keeps going out. Let's see here. I do have that. Okay. That good? Can, there you go. So that piece is finished. Now it's just a matter of letting it dry and letting the wax cure. This one is just a matter of letting our pieces. They're not E6000. Yeah, by morning that's going to be dry. It's going to be solid. And it's going to be ready to go. Um... I'm not doing anything with the outside edge. You could paint it, you could put ribbon, anything you wanted to do. So, I mean, I thought about the flowers. I just think it's gonna be too much. And I don't think I wanna do anything else with this one. I like it the way it is. I think it looks good, our little queen bee. So that's the two of them. Um, if you have questions, just let me know. Send an email, make a comment, you know, under the video. And I will see it if you do like hash tag replay. It lets me know you've watched the video. And I will look to see if you have any questions or comments. Otherwise, I think we're basically done for the day. As you can see, my phone keeps falling. <laughs> I'm not having a good night here, guys. <laughs> so anyway, but we did two projects. Other than our dry time, we did both of these in about an hour. You have that dry time that comes with it. And as you, I don't know if you can see this, I did do the, you know, burn around here, the paper that was overhanging. But as you can see, it goes right up to your piece. The flame stops. It goes out. You're done. It's easy. I just suggest doing it on the sink because you never know. You know. Better safe than sorry. So, but in an hour... Other than dry time, we did these two pieces. They'd be great gifts, wedding gifts, presents, Christmas. Uh, thank you for being my friend. I love to give this kind of gifts. Just to say thank you for being there for me. Um, you know, we all have those moments where we go to somebody. So, that's it for tonight. I'm going to go hit the hay. I'm a little tired. Remember, you can make a comment in the end. I will answer you back and let you know. Otherwise, have a good night. Sleep well. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. I am getting ready to do a live furniture piece. We were deciding between the desk and the chair. I think I'm going to do the desk. And wait till you see the piece I just got. Beautiful vanity. I can't wait to get into that one. I'm really excited. But I got to figure out my colors. I'm thinking gold or uh, silvers and pinks. Let me know what you think of that combo. And I'm actually thinking about doing epoxy on the top with a heavy pink sparkle. Yeah, kind of very girly. <laughs> Thought that might be fun and different. Go really feminine with a piece, you know. So, that's it for now. Good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.